Yeah, so creating is all about finding uh, new opportunities and you need to networks for that and you need to listen to uh, bottom-up things in the organization and uh, and that's fluid so you can never assume it's you know done and and once this uh, process is underway you then need to you know figure out valuation and how many resources you put into it and that process needs to be integrated so you need to manage that you know systematically in the organization Well, some industries really do specialize in sort of portfolio management. The pharmaceutical industry needs to have a long pipeline that feeds, you know, the, the, the need for drugs. Uh, the, the, I would say that oil and gas uh, also is very good at portfolio management. Uh, but the danger is that people, beca that it becomes too static and that too much is being done inside. So you also need to recognize with open innovation that there's many elements of the portfolio outside your company, like Procter & Gamble is now doing with Connect and & Develop. And so you need to have an inside and an outside perspective if you want to optimize your portfolio strategy. Well, I think there are three different streams of literature on innovation that have practical implications. One comes out of finance and economics, and it's very analytical. That has to do with securities and financial markets. Then there is a stream out of strategy that is more qualitative. It's about drawing visuals with bubbles. Where do business units fit in the corporate portfolio? And then there is a lot of, a lot of internal stuff, administration. How do you manage lots of projects in a company? And the integration of these three is where I think the opportunity lies, because many people don't uh, get the benefit of all three perspectives. That's the, the main point of my talk.